ranking every World Cup team in terms of how much I enjoyed their performance during games. Right, with Argentina first. and I'm going to put them right at the top. I think there's no question in every game. They're absolutely fantastic. And Messi was just incredible. Right next, Australia. I'm really tempted to put them in complete rubbish, but they were okay at times and they made the round of 16. So we'll put them in okay at times. Next, we have Belgium. I mean, Belgium were just hideous the whole tournament. They were absolutely terrible and completely underwhelming, and Lacaca proved why he is Lacaca. Next, we have Brazil. And Brazil were top quality with a good group stage performance, and they did all right in the knockouts. They were very enjoyable to watch against South Korea, and even the Croatia game was a very solid one to watch. Next, we have Cameroon, and I think Cameroon drawing 3 3 with Serbia was their highlight of the tournament along with a 1-0 win over Brazil, in which Vincent Abubakar uh, got a red card, which is very fun to watch. So I'm going to put them in good, mostly. Next, we have Canada. And even though Canada were massive underdogs and didn't get any points, they still were pretty entertaining to watch, especially in their match with Belgium. And next, we have Costa Rica. Although they also got knocked out, they were a solid watch at times, particularly in their game against Germany, which they lost 4-2. Although Croatia had two nil-nils in the group stage, they were still pretty fun to watch against the likes of Canada and Brazil, as well as beating Japan on penalties. So I'll put them in great almost every game. Next we have Denmark, and this is an easy one. They go straight in complete rubbish. They scored one goal, they were terrible. End of story. So we have Ecuador, and again, they got knocked out in the group stage, but a comfy win over Qatar. And a good game against Senegal means they go okay at times. Next we have England, and although it didn't come home, England were a really fun watch as a fan and as a neutral, winning 6-2 against Iran, and a 3-0 win over our rivals Wales was fun to watch. Now the World Cup runners-up France, they have to be in the top category, amazing to watch them in every match. Now Germany... A surprise knockout in the group stage. They still put in a decent shift. 4-2 win over Costa Rica and a 2-1 loss to Japan with both entertaining watches. They go in okay at times. Now we have Ghana. Ghana weren't particularly impressive in this tournament. They were good in games against Portugal and South Korea, but they weren't anything special. Only okay at times. Now we have Iran, and I think Iran have to go into the same category. They were okay in their game against England, and they were okay in their game against Wales, but they weren't particularly impressive. Now Japan were a lot of fun to watch in every game, and they put in a strong performance. I'm going to put them in great almost every game. Mexico now, who broke their round of 16 streak by exiting the group stage, and... In reality, they were poor against Poland. They were poor against Argentina. They were only good in their Saudi Arabia match, so okay at times. The Atlas Lions, aka Morocco. Morocco were everyone's team rooting for in the knockouts. They were absolutely wonderful, even though their games weren't pretty. They were great in almost every game. Now Netherlands, I'm kind of tempted to put them in great in almost every game, but when I think about it, they scored two goals in every single game they played. So I think they just have to be an amazing to watch them. They were so much fun to watch. You knew goals were incoming. Poland were all right. They were good in their game against Saudi Arabia. They weren't so good against France, but they at least scored. Otherwise, they weren't particularly amazing. I'll put them in good mostly. Now Portugal, I mean, what more can you ask for? Three goals against Ghana, six goals against Switzerland, two goals against Uruguay. The only game that they didn't turn up for was their quarterfinal against Morocco. Now the hosts, Qatar. Well, this is easy. They were complete rubbish. They scored one goal and they're pathetic in every game. Saudi Arabia. They got a miracle win over Argentina. I think they have to be in at least good mostly for that. And now we've got Senegal. I'm also going to put them in good mostly because they were good in their games against Qatar and Ecuador. But weren't so good in their games against England and the Netherlands. 
Although Serbia only played in three matches, they were great to watch in their games against Cameroon and Switzerland, scoring three against Cameroon and two against Switzerland. The same has to be said about South Korea, who managed to grab a miracle win over Portugal, and I have to put them in great almost every game as well. Spain were a little underwhelming. Their first game gave me promise, but the rest of the tournament was a little bit mid, so they have to only go in good mostly. Switzerland were alright, they were really poor in their game against Portugal, but they did play well against Serbia, and I have to give them credit for that, so they go in okay at times. Tunisia, I'm going to put Tunisia in the same category as Switzerland, because they weren't amazing to watch, but they weren't terrible either, and they gave us a, a shock win against France, so... We're on the home stretch, Uruguay. Uruguay were alright. They played some okay football in their last game, but apart from that, they weren't particularly impressive. Okay at times. The US, their match against England was dire, I know, as an England fan. They were okay in their game against Wales, and okay in their game against Iran. Not so great in their game against Netherlands. I'll put them in okay at times. And finally, Wales. To be frank, Wales were absolutely horrific in this tournament. They scored one goal and then they got knocked out in the group stage really easily. I'm sorry, they have to go in the worst category. And that concludes it. What did you think of my list? Would you have changed anything? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you later.